Okay guys, welcome back. This is going to be an unboxing of the new Runcam Swift 2. There's a couple of changes for the better, I must say. This says sensor is IR blocked. I have a 2.3 millimeter lens, uh, which is gonna be a little bit different. Um, the power is DC five to 36 volts. So the five volts is actually a lot lower than what some of the other cams run on. The reason that's helpful is that if you're running a battery pack down to its lowest portions of the battery, your video will not cut out. Now I have had this happen on my other Swift where I think the lowest voltage on the Swift was seven volts, if I remember correctly. I, I will put an annotation or a note up here if that is incorrect. All right, so this is my true unboxing of this. I've never opened this up before, so let's take a quick peek here. So what I'm showing here is that they give you two bodies uh, for the run cam. And I think most likely that's gonna be because, um, let me see here, hang on a second. Okay, so this has two bodies because it has, this, this body here has uh, a different type of mounting system that I haven't seen from run cam yet. I showed that it has the logo on the front top and the bottom, so that's this is really interesting. And I'm also showing a microphone right here. Uh, now, what's gonna be different about this is that it's going to have, uh, let's see, power, ground, video, audio, and VBAT. So the big difference with this Swift is that it's going to have a on-screen display built in. So that's gonna be really awesome. Now, I've been running all my mini quads without OSD built in. So this is going to be a real different experience for me. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek here. Here it is. Now one of the st other standout features is that this has a much shorter lens than the previous versions. The other ones got a little bit of flack because the lens was sticking out so far that um, people were having problems with, of course, getting camera damage in, in crashes. The shorter the length of your lens, uh, the less likely that will happen. So. Um, this has the mounting system that I like uh, that allows you to pivot in some of the frames and to lock them in, which will be uh, perfect for this frame here, which is the Morpheus X frame, which should fit this camera just perfectly. This is gonna be a great camera for this frame. Now, of course, one of the, um, one of the reasons that you would consider the Swift is that it is on the same level as the HS1177 as far as light handling goes. It's very, very quick out of the box and it has very, very low latency as well. So let me just tear into the box here and see what else we have. Run Cam Swift 2 user manual. Looks like they've got a nice user manual here. Let's take a quick peek. And they also have a customer comment, uh, customer contact card, which is always if you have a problem, you can contact them. Run Cam's always been really great about customer service. So let me just take a look here. So I'm just gonna put this up to here. It shows you how to um, change the OSD settings here. Here are some of the specs. If you guys want to pause here and read these things, you can. I'm just gonna go through this quite fast here. Here's the camera menu. Camera menu again. Lots and lots of things with the camera menu here. Like I said, um, you guys can pause this information here if you need to. I think the back, okay, here is a quick diagram. One thing about Runcam is they always have fantastic documentation of their products, which is great. Gives you as the end user all the tools that you need to uh, operate these cameras and to know what the specifications are. Guys, so let's just take a look at the rest of the box here. So guys, this is just going to be a quick unboxing. I am not going to be hooking this up on at the moment. I don't have a quad that I have handy to uh, to put this together with, but I would like to just um, show you guys what's in the box and what are some of the specifications and what are some of the things that are, you guys are looking forward to. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the first camera that I have had that has a, um, a, a on-screen display. So here is how you're gonna change that on-screen display. This little guy, if you guys haven't seen uh, run cam uh, menus before, it's gonna plug right into here. And basically you push the button and your OSD controller is gonna pop up. And this has a joystick up, down, left, right, and pushing down for selection as well. So put that down here. 
Um, Runcam, as always, has the nicest cables, which are made of silicone. Silicon, silicone, however you want to pronounce it. Potato, potato. Uh, this looks like it might be an OSD cable. I believe these are uh, some of the cables that get plugged in to some of the flight controllers to relay the OSD information onto the camera. So I will research that in the future. Look forward to that in a future video. They give you a Allen key and all your mounting hardware needs here. And here's the mount and look. They have listened to Bruce from RC Model Reviews. This is a much, much thicker mount. Hooray. Look, this is actually how much harder to flex than the other ones. The other ones you could just you could bend them back and forth. I'm putting all my strength into here and I can't bend this back and forth. Thank you, Runcam, for listening to the FBV community once again. I tell you guys, from us reviewers, every time we put out a suggestion, they either match that suggestion or they get pretty darn close. So um, that's why I like a run cam a lot. They they have a fantastic customer service. They really work well with the guys that are out there testing the uh, the products, and I really am enjoying that. Okay, guys. So run cam Swift two. Stay tuned for flight videos coming up soon. OSD tutorials, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,